Right? Alright, uh, let's solving this question. Uh, so they give you an equation involving complex number. Uh, by expressing the z in the form, okay, this z in the form of x plus y i is a complex number where x and y are the real numbers. So definitely I will see from here that uh, they need us to using the x, uh, the z in the form of x plus y i, right? And the bar z here is a conjugate. Uh, so you take, first you must know that, okay, you have to write z in the form of x plus i y. Definitely the bar z here means that the conjugate of the complex number z here will be x negative with y i, right? Uh, this is the form of conjugate for this complex number here. So, okay, now I have to substitute this into the equation here before I'm solving. So, with the 4 plus 5 i uh, z, z will be x plus with i y, right? Uh, so, negative with 1 plus i of the conjugate of z. So it will be x minus i y, right? This equals 15 plus 7 i. So we can using the uh, concept of equality of two complex numbers, alright? Uh, in solving this problem here. So, so we start uh, expanding all this. So 4 and x, we were getting 4x. Uh, so we do it slowly. So we have 4x, 4 i y. 4i with y, right? So for 5 plus positive, positive, 5 xi, okay? I can rewrite 5xi, okay? This one I can write as 4yi, okay? So later on, and this one, uh, positive, 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 right? 5 and y, 5y, 5y, i to the power of 2, uh, i to the power of 2, okay? And this is error expanding set. Now I'm going for this side here. Uh, so, so we put a bracket because there is a negative here. So you're going to 1 multiplied with x and you're getting the x. 1 multiplied with negative i, you're getting negative i y. Uh -huh. Then followed by plus i x. Plus i x. Negative negative, positive, negative, negative, mm -hmm. negative, i square, y, right, y, i square, y, i square, okay, complete, so equal to 15 plus 7i, so now my job is to show, show uh, to simplify the algebra here, okay, very be careful when you're doing this, uh, so you have 4x, uh, we will group the real part together first, the 4x, this is the real part here, 4x. Uh, uh, and this one, i square, right? You know that i square is negative 1, right? i square is negative 1. So this will be negative 1, so we can negative 5y, uh, negative 5y, right? Okay, group them together, okay? 4x minus with 5y. So combined with this, uh, you can factor out the i here, can you see that? Both have i, it's an imaginary part. So I can rewrite to be positive of 4y, uh, 4y plus with 5x i. Right? Okay, this is for this part here. Okay, let's look at this part here. Be careful when you're solving algebra, right? So uh, you know that i square is negative 1, alright? Uh, you know that i square is negative 1. So negative 1 with this negative will become positive. So you have x plus y here for the real part here. x, negative 1, negative, positive. So and for this one, you have i, you can factor out the i. Okay, you factor out the i, factor out the i, you will have negative y plus with x or x minus y, right? You factor out the i, you have negative y plus with x. Okay. Then everything equals to 15 plus 7i. Alright, be systematic. Okay, now it's the time for me to subtract the real part and the real part here, right? Uh, so be careful while you're subtracting. So, okay, I will write everything here. It's negative 5y. Because of the negative here, you negative x and negative y, right? Negative x, negative y. Because you're expanding this, right? Okay. So this is for real part. For the imaginary part, have deal with the imaginary part here. 
So you have 4y, okay, just put everything that I outside, okay? Uh, 4y plus with 5x, 4y plus with 5x. Uh, don't forget that negative here, this negative belongs to both of them. That's why I asked you to put a bracket. So negative, uh, you see, positive, negative, right? Negative. So negative, negative, you will become positive y, right? Uh, positive y. And negative, positive will become negative x. Negative xi. Okay, then everything equates to 15 plus 7i. Okay, now simplify, right? Simplify. So 4x minus with x, you will have 3x. 4x minus x, you have 3x. Negative 5y, negative y. Negative 6y. Okay. Done. For the real part here, for the left hand side. So, plus with 4y plus y. 4y plus y. You have 5y. Uh, I write it on the right. 4y plus y, 5y. Right? 4y, double check. Positive y, 5y. 5x, negative x. Uh, 5x minus x. You have 4x. So now, imaginary part. Okay, done. Alright. Uh, now I can apply the knowledge of equality of two complex numbers. You see, this is one complex number and this is one single complex number. Just now, this is not, not even one complex number yet. So we have to write it in the form such that this is a one complex number and this is a one complex number. A plus BI. C plus DI. So we can do comparison. Uh, so the real part here, because of the equality here, equality tells us that this the two real number must be the, has the same value. Right? Uh, so it means that 3x minus 6y must be 15. Right? Uh, I can tell you that the 3x minus 6y will be the 15 here because they are real number here. So I simplify this by divide everything by 3. Here by 3, here by 3. Here by 3, you have 5, right? Here by 3. Here by 3, here by 3, here 5. So I take this to be equation 1. Equation 1. Okay, how about equation 2? Uh, equation, you can compare this. 4x plus y. 4x plus the imaginary compare with the coefficient for the imaginary here. Uh, so 4x plus 5y. 4x plus 5y will be the same as 7. Uh, this one, equation 2. You have getting the two equations already, right? Uh, so very simple. Okay, how to solving this? This you must be very skillful in solving this, right? I can doing substitution. Okay, I can from one. From one, I know that x can be right as a form of two y plus five, right? X can be right in the form of two y plus five, and for this you are putting inside, substitute into the equation two. 4x plus b. Uh, sorry. So I know that uh, x will be 2y plus 5. So I have to replace the x with 2y plus 5. Plus with 5y equals to 7. Okay. 4, 2, 8y. 4, 5, 20. Plus with 5y equals to 7. 8 plus 5. Right, 8 plus 5, you will have 13y, 7 minus 20, 7 minus 20, you have negative 13, and from here you're getting finally, you're getting 13y to be negative 13, so if you're solving this, you're taking negative 13 divided by 13, you have negative 1, okay, now you are getting the solution for y, so how about x, right, uh, we're going to find the value of x and y here, so, substitute it into this equation here, right, from 1 here. So, it means that the x here, uh, the x here will be 2y, negative 1 plus big 5. So, you're getting negative 2 plus big 5, which giving you the value of 3. Uh, now, you have both values, x equals to 3 and y equals to negative 1. So, by expressing uh, the question, we answer back the question by expressing z in the form of x plus yi. Uh, 
So it means that we want to solving this, we find the value of x plus yi. So actually they want to expressing z in the form of x plus yi. So what is the solution for z here? Uh, so the solution will be, the z will be x plus yi. So what is your x? Uh, your x is 3, right? 3 plus yi. Uh, I. What's your y? Your y will be negative 1, right? So overall you're getting your z to be 3 minus I. So this is the solution for this uh, question. Hope you understand. Alright, so this is how we use the equality of two complex numbers.